Testing, testing. How do we know if it worked? I do know if it works. I know it works. Why didn't we test it then? I don't know. I'm being fun, I'm being quirky. Quirky. So, we have Taco Bell. This post is brought to you by Taco Bell. Oh, I fucked it up. How? I was supposed to smear it before I put this on. I think you're fine. I think all will be okay. <coughs> Welcome to Certified RN, where we talk about shit that we are very certified to talk about. I'm gonna bitch about the Fosters now. Okay, I've never watched that, so... Okay, the, the Fosters, you know what it is though, right? Is it like... Shameless? No. I guess it's I the, thought it was like the same vibe. It's the no. show with Maya Mitchell where it's about foster kids. Like she plays a foster kid. I thought it was like Like you know the like <laughs> the filter that's on like all the shameless episodes. Mm -hmm. Isn't it like the same? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. There's two things I need to talk about with the show. One, I hate Brandon Foster. <laughs> He's the worst part of the show. Let me tell you about Brandon Foster, okay? Okay. Brandon Foster is the oldest foster child. Except he's not actually a foster kid. That's just his last name. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Family tree. You have Steph and Mike. Steph and Mike were together. They get a divorce because Steph is a lesbian. Right. Steph gets with Lena. Steph and Mike, whenever they were together, they had Brandon. Then Steph and Lena, they get together. They foster two kids, Jesus and Mariana. They're twins. They end up adopting them. Then, uh, a couple years later, they end up fostering Callie and Jude, who are siblings. Now, Callie and Brandon, they life with Derek this shit. They get together, okay? Which is not allowed. That's not allowed. But they were like, oh, she's not going to get adopted. But then she was going to get adopted, so they were like, no, we have to stop this because you're going to get adopted. Then, I was just at the point where it was like, Callie's like, I'm never getting adopted because someone from Girls United, which was a group home she was in, is gonna tell my caseworker that I kissed you during the Girls United fundraiser. So they have sex! And then Callie gets How adopted. How does the problem? Because she thought she was never getting adopted. So they could finally be together. And then they have sex, and then Callie finds out she's getting adopted. But I'm, I'm confused. How do people know that they had sex? So no one does right now, except like Daphne who is one of Callie's friends. That's really the only person who knows. But there was someone on Callie's website, Fost and Found, who commented, is it true you had sex with your foster brother? Second thing though, I'm at the point in the show where they swap out Jesus' actor. So Jesus used to be played by Jake T. Austin, you know Max from Wizards. Oh my God, it's fun. Um, but it's at the point now where they switched him out for Noah Centineo and then try to be like, wow, you grew a lot while at boarding school. The they kind of look the same, though. But the reason they did that is because Jake T. Austin got a DUI. <laughs> and controversial opinion, I think Noah Centineo plays Jesus better because Jake T. Austin does Disney acting. Yeah, that would make sense. Patrick Mahomes' dad just went to jail. <laughs> what? For a DUI. I don't keep up with sports But lore. he's out and about, so... Yeah, he went to jail like two days before the Super Bowl <laughs> and now he's just out. Did he make it to the Super Bowl? I don't know. I haven't seen anything so I would I guess not probably. I saw that video though of um one of the Mahomes trying to get to uh oh Jackson trying to get to Britney. Yeah. Oh my god that was so funny. He was like I'm Patrick Mahomes' brother and the security guard was like <laughs> and then Britney looks at him and goes and just keeps dancing. So quick OOTD but food of the day, FOTD, FOTT. Uh, I got two Doritos Hocus Tacos with no lettuce because I hate lettuce. I got a cheese roll. I mean, how you been? We haven't hung out in a while. Um, well, I work for minimum wage. Mm -hmm. I have two phones now because I got Two oh, God. phones. I remember something I was going to tell you, though. The Beach Boys are coming to Missouri. I saw that. They were supposed to come last year. 
too when they didn't. Well, they're going to Ozark Amphitheater, which I've been there. It's a really good venue. Is that the Noah Kong one? No, that's um, Azura Amphitheater, but I call it Sandstone. That's in Bonner Springs. This one, uh, Ozark, is in Camdington. And I was looking at concerts, and Sir Chloe, I don't know if you know who that is. Mm -mm. She's coming to Kansas City. Tell me why there's a $2 fee if you're under 21. A fee for what? I don't know. It's not like I'm going to drink any alcohol. Like making you prepay for the drinks you steal. <laughs> I don't even know if I could steal drinks out of any. Do you think you could? I don't know. It depends. I've only ever been to like Taylor Swift concerts though. Those are pretty locked down. So yeah. <laughs> I don't think I could steal. I don't know. Are you excited for Noah Khan though? I am. I've never been to a lawn concert though. Yeah, I've never been to one where I'm on the lawn. Like, do you bring chairs? Is that something people bring? Uh, usually blankets. Yeah, see, I don't want bug bites. <laughs> if I sit on the ground, on a, I was gonna say on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, grass is the carpet of the earth. Pretty much. Anyways, this uh, episode of Certified RN is brought to you from a Mormon church. I've never been in there. I've never been in there either. Isn't that where you know who used to go to church? T? No. M? The tall one that we knew from over there. Our grade? Yeah. Tall one from our grade? Oh, H? Mm hmm. I have no. Wait! I thought that was like a thing is that she used to like tell people that she was Catholic, but she was actually I didn't Mormon. Know she was Mormon? I'm pretty sure she is. Maybe I'll ask her. I'm pretty sure she is. She commented on my Instagram post. Did you see that? Yeah. I just think she has me blocked. <laughs> Remember that one time we were at recess? We used to go to school, like, over there. Mm -hmm. We could see it through the trees. We were at recess. I'm in the trees. I'm in the breeze. My... <laughs> Pardon. She's done. <laughs> Dinah is pissed. And we were outside one day, and... There was a man walking through the ditch. Oh my god, the hitchhiker! Yeah, he was hitchhiking. And he had like one of those like hobo sacks, you know? He got it over their shoulder. And the teachers flipped their lid, let me tell you. They made us all run back to the other side of the building. They're like, everybody go inside! We went under lockdown for a little bit. Yeah, because there was a man hitchhiking on the side of the road on a highway. That had happened multiple times though, where people would be walking along that highway. Because people from our class, like Redhead, would always want to go talk to them. Peace and love. If you are a parent and you work at your kid's school, I don't like you and I think you need to find a new job. That's like weird. Like, let them do their own thing. And like, it's always going to cause problems for your kid. And it'll cause problems for you. Like, I just work at a different school. Well, I'm sorry. I don't have kids. But when I do, I can tell you, I don't want to see them that often. Yeah, don't you want to break from them? Like, I do not want to hang out with them. I do not want to know what they're doing at school. I don't want to go through their phone and see shit that's going to piss me off. I don't want any of it. And God, it would be so annoying if, like, you were on your plan period and suddenly you get a call from your boss being like, hey, your kid's in the office. Like, yeah, I can't even eat my lunch now. I saw somebody in Walmart the other day that I knew and they looked at me and they knew that they knew me. And I knew that I knew them, and I just like... Who was it? I can't mention it, because I don't know if you're still friends with them or not. I do not give a shit. We are haters at heart! The, the one with the same name as my boyfriend, but taller, and his girlfriend. There's too many people with your boyfriend's name. <laughs> Tall. Glasses. And girlfriend, short, blonde. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm not okay. friends with them. Okay. Honestly, I I don't even think I've had a conversation with either of them. But we just, it's like you know that you know that mm -hmm. person. And I, just, I don't want to know anybody, ever. You, and you were never really mixed in with that friend group in high school. No. Um, I took prom pictures with them. Oh, yeah. Because I went with a certain freckly person. Mm -hmm. A certain freckly person. Oh, yeah. my God. That gets me into a rant. So, I'm in this show right now. And it's glorified karaoke. I know where this is going. <laughs> Good. It's glorified karaoke. That's all it is. 
and we've been doing rehearsals and we have our show coming up on Wednesday because it's a Valentine's Day thing, whatever. There's someone in the show that has known me since I was a kid. Um, and since I have been four, four years old, okay? This woman has constantly made comments about my body and how I act in this last rehearsal I went to. They were talking about how it's bad to cross your legs whenever you sit because it hurts your hips. And I had spoken up and I'm like, oh, well, my hips aren't even, so it's more comfortable for me to sit like that. And this woman goes, well, you don't have any fat to cut off your circulation. I don't think that's how that works, is it? <laughs> no, because I still have poor circulation. And, like, when we were doing mic check, I was talking, and she was like, I've never heard you talk this much before. Like, why do you think? I hate when people say that to me. I don't talk to you because you make me uncomfortable. I think we would do well in Canada. I do, too. It's more expensive, though, so maybe I wouldn't. And maybe we'd run into Curtis Connor. Did you notice this? I made it from a pillow. Here, Ooh. let me show y'all. So, I, if it would focus. I made it from a pillow. Oh, that's me. And to grab out. I just realized my bra is like visible the entire time. You messing with my monkey? I can't even remember where I got that. I got it in 2020 though. It goes into a lot of the lore. A lot of stuff in my car has lore behind it. And that has lore behind it. I feel like we need to come up with like nicknames for people we're gonna end up talking about. We need to have like a list and just like tape it up here <laughs> of names. Equals. I wonder. I think I might have post-it notes. I do not have post-it notes, but never mind. There's not. I do have a dry erase marker. Perfect. Like, just write it on the windshield. Well, I was just gonna write it on my mirror. That's what we'll call them. Okay. Okay. Please like this video. <laughs> Please make us rich. Oh. <laughs> Rise and shine. Whatever happened to that clip of Kylie Jenner? I haven't thought about that in so long. I used to watch it, and because I used to watch compilations of Kardashian unintentional ASMR. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> like whenever like Kylie would be showing off a product, and she'd be like, "Okay, guys, like this lip kit is coming in soon," and like they'd speak really <laughs> soft, and it was really nice and relaxing. Do you remember that one audio that was trending? summer of 2022 that was the fresh lemonade mm -hmm. freshly squeezed that was from like a sims video of people recreating billy eilish and like some of the kardashians in the sims huh. and making up sketches that. with them mm -hmm. there's like a whole community behind it we are on different ends of tiktok <laughs> yeah <laughs> definitely my tiktok consists of i have started getting the tiktok top 10 quiz question things again oh yeah which I used to get in 2020, so it's kind of nice to see those back again. Oh my god! Randomly gets cheesy! Commented on your video. Oh my god, do you think it's something nice? Probably not, because it was <laughs> on the Gay Son Thought Daughter video. Ooh. So, Gay Son or Thought Daughter is a question posed by conservatives to be like, Ha, liberals! Which would you I rather know, have? But wasn't it... No, it was just about, like, that question's vague, and I feel like there are worse options than a gay son or a uh, thought daughter. I thought you meant you were choosing between gay son or thought daughter, and I was like, interesting video, but Well, okay. I, I said in my video, if I had to choose, I would pick neither, because I don't want kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would pick gay son. See, gay son or thought daughter, it really would depend with me, because is the thought daughter a thought in practice, or a thought in theory? Like, are they a thought daughter for the aesthetic, I think I just want a gay son. Yeah, I feel like I would get along really well with a gay son. If my son is born and he is straight, I will return him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're straight phobic. Ayo, when you're editing this, make sure you won't get arrested. Ayo, this is me editing. Um, I cut out that entire part. Not because I think I'd get arrested, but because I was in oversharing mode, and now I'm feeling shy. Also, I'm the only one who's editing this. Rayleigh doesn't know how to edit. I have two more videos to edit after this, and I know no wanna. Because if you go to jail, then who am I going to sit in a parking lot with? Your Not boyfriend? No <laughs> Why? Nobody wants to hear those conversations, because... Maybe they do, though, because they're kind of funny, but... I feel like he has more of a chance of going famous for just talking than we do. Oh, he definitely does. He wouldn't, though. He thinks it's weird that we're sitting in a parking lot talking. <sighs> I can't mm -hmm. believe he's such a hater. He's a hater. He's a hater until it works out, and then he's like, I, I always knew it would happen. 
I feel like right now we could brainstorm ideas for the band name. I gave my idea and nobody liked it. So. Well, I was thinking this might be not quirky enough. I was thinking the E's, but spelled like E A S E, like E's, but the E's because our names end in E's. E's. Except Maddie's name isn't actually Maddie, but everyone calls her Maddie, so I feel like it's only fair. I was gonna say, it's pretty much her name. But I feel like that could work, and it's not too, like, quirky and out there. That could work. I like mine, but, you know, I don't got to. What was yours again? (laughs) No share with the class. (laughs) The Australian sheep placentas. I want to know your thought process. I don't know, you texted me asking about band names, and I was at work, and I was I feel like in the back room, and I was looking at the face masks, and one of them was Australian Sheep Placenta, and I was like, okay. I feel like that's a good name for an album, or like an EP. <laughs> <laughs> What's your newest album called? The Australian Sheep Placenta. But see, it could be abbreviated to ASP. ASP. <laughs> I've seen a Hallmark movie like this. It's also this is gonna... 50 minutes long. Let's stop it then. Bye bye!